Hindi ka ba masaya dahil single ka? Ano naman? Na single ka? Are people pressuring you because you are still single and all your batchmates are married at lima pa yung anak nila? Every time that it's Valentine's Day, meron ka bang sana ako rin? Hashtag sana all. So what if you are single? You can still be happy. Even if wala kang ka-holding hands, even if walang nag-good morning sa'yo every time that you wake up, you can still be happy and whole even if you're single. Being single is not a curse. Actually, it's a blessing. You can enjoy it, you can maximize it, and I'll be giving you six things you can do while you are still single. Hey guys, my name is Neil Germo, and here are six things you can do while you are still single. It's an acrostic single para maalala ninyo. S-I-N-G-L-E. So, letter S. So what if you are single? So what if you're single? It's not the end of the world. It doesn't mean that if you are single, hindi ka na pwede maging masaya. We know that there are couples, meaning they are not single, pero hindi rin masaya. So it's not about your status if you will be happy or not. So if people are pressuring you that you need to be in a relationship for whatever reason, maybe your age or because all your batchmates kinasal na, don't be pressured by your family, by your friends, by your office mates, sa mga memes. Aww. No pressure. Diba? As long as you are doing what you need to do, being faithful in your season, serving as much as you can, being of value to your generation. So... Masaya kaya maging single. So when people are pressuring you or implying that you need to be in a relationship, then just say, I know you mean well, but thank you. I'm good. <laughs> Sana okay ka talaga. And say, so what if I'm single, di ba? And yung maganda nga, as single, you have all the time. Wala kang kaagaw sa time mo. And you can serve as much as you can. And that brings us to our next letter. Letter I. Improve yourself. The main reason, main motivation why you want to improve yourself is not so that you can please people para ma-approve ka nila. Hindi. You will do it because you just want to be the best version of yourself. Because you have been entrusted with something so we just need to be faithful with it. So kung gusto mo, gandahin yung kilay mo dahil, di ba, hashtag kilay is life daw. So, kung gusto mag unibrow or whatever gusto mo gawin sa kilay mo, so be it. So, kung gusto mo, your skin, walang pores, pag umulan, pumatak, hindi papasok sa sa body mo, walang problema doon. And if you're a guy, you want the best haircut, pampadur ng talas manila nyo, so be it. Nothing wrong with that. As long as you're doing it not to please people, but because you just want to be the best you. And the byproduct of that, as you have your beautification project, <laughs> diba? people will take notice. You buy Prada. Or if you are growing in skills, learning a new craft, serving more people, the byproduct of it, people will take notice. So what areas do you need to improve on? Especially if you're single. Mas marami kang time. What areas you need to improve on? What skills, what competence you need to build? What businesses you need to start? What insecurities that you need to surrender to God? That's important as you are single, di ba? Mas marami kang time to improve yourself more. Another thing you can improve on is, next letter, letter N, notice that there's healing. Whether you have been broken, nasugatan ka, nabasted ka, pinaasa ka, or you were in a relationship, tas biglang, boom, nag-stop. Sakit nun, di ba? Sakit nun. But there is healing. You can still move on. Ang daling sabihin eh. Pero, legit. God is close to the brokenhearted. Naramdaman ko rin yan eh. I dated my college friend kasi nag-reconnect kami. And we've dated. And okay. So far, so good. Saya. Then, boom! Biglang sabi niya, Neil, it's not working out. Aray ko mo! Parang it was a curveball. Didn't expect it. Kasi akala ko. Yun eh. Kala ko, this is it. Kala ko, tuloy-tuloy na to. Diba? Tuloy-tuloy lagi yung date namin. Pero boom! Although, it's not you, it's me. Hindi, hindi niya sinabi yun. Pero ako talaga may fault doon. So, there are things that I should have done. So, eh, ganun talaga eh. But, hindi naman niya fault. Because, 
Hindi talaga nag-work out. And it's also our discussion, our agreement that at any point in our dating stage, at hindi talaga nag-work, sabihin lang. Eh, sinabi nga niya, boom! Aray ko po. So, broken-hearted. Aww. So, God is close to the broken-hearted. So, tumatawa na lang ako. Pero guys, masakit talaga. Masakit. So, I'm grateful for the people who were there. So, konti lang may alam. Kasi, makita nyo na sugatan ako. Pero, oh, sugatan ako. Hindi nyo lang halata na sugatan din ako. Kaya, totoo yon Pag sinabi kong, Iba na ang sugatan. Yeah, talaga, sugatan ako. Pero the good thing with that, God is close to the brokenhearted. And I'm saying this, gusto kong i-share sa inyo to kasi if nasugatan ka, na brokenhearted ka, umasa ka, or kala mo this is it, or na-engage ka, na disengage ka, or whatever scarring because of our relationships, I can say to you, God is close to the brokenhearted. Hindi ibig sabihin na napakatagal na naging kayo or grabe na kalalim yung emotions mo. God will heal you as long as you give your heart to Him. God is close to the brokenhearted. Kung napakasakit niya, God can bring healing. Because it's not about you moving on. It is about God healing you. It's not about the passing of time. But it is you being healed by God because healing comes from Him. Kaya nga, di ba, dun sa letter, notice that there's healing because there are times hinihil na tayo ni Lord pero hindi tayo makapag-move on. We are still clinging on to the past. Scroll ng scroll, stock ng stock sa FB, sa IG. Move on. Move on. Especially kung alam mo, minu-move on ka na ni Lord and may wisdom from your mentors and community. So again, there's healing. So kahit gano ka na sugatan, makakabangon ka din. So if you have a friend na marupok, or kailangan makarinig ng video na to na there is healing, please send this video. Message this. Tag them. Legit talaga, God is close to the brokenhearted. And the good thing, pag nasugatan ka, it will make you a better person. Ako, masasabi ko, nag-grow ako because of that. Ang dami kong natutunan. So, I'm just grateful it happened. I mean, during the time, Lord, bakit nangyari? Pasakit. But now, looking back, in the sovereignty of God, Lord, thank you. Pinaramdam mo sa akin yun. You allowed it to happen because you are just building me up. So legit, God is close to the brokenhearted. That's letter N. Notice that there's healing. So celebrate the person you are becoming. Kasi nag-grow ka dun eh. So there's purpose to our pain. Celebrate. So I'm proud of you as you are learning, as hindi ka na nagiging asropok, di ba? <laughs> I'm celebrating with you. And another wise thing to do, next letter, is letter G. Guard your heart. We hear the statement, follow your heart. Do what makes you happy. At some point, may saya dyan. But eventually, it would lead to destruction, doom and pain, and devastation. Masakit yan eh. Masakit yan eh. Diba? Alam mo na the person who's messaging you, may asawa or in a relationship pero ikaw kilig na kilig ka naman <gasps> may nagbe-message sa akin hindi magbe-break din sila magbe-break pero hindi mali eh pero kasi diba if we are already emotionally attached and we allow our emotions our feelings or our heart we can easily be deceived eh that's why I remember the heart is deceitful above all else I repeat the heart is deceitful above all else. So, huwag magpaloko sa puso natin. Ilang beses na tayo naloko ng puso natin. Di ba? May mga times na parang, wow, ito na yan. Pero alam mong hindi tama eh. And you are rationalizing, how can it be wrong if it feels so right? How can it be wrong? Eh, parang, ngayon lang ako, siya lang nagpasaya sa akin ng ganito eh. Di ba? So, Neil, how can you guard your heart? What are ways? So, kung may nag-message sa'yo, may nag-DM sa'yo, hindi automatic, maganda yung intention yan. Aww. Or, if there's this guy who is just kind to you, gentle to you, it doesn't mean type ka yan. Baka gentleman lang talaga siya. Aww. So, kung walang sinasabi si guy, girl, <laughs> wag mag So, guard your heart. What other ways can you guard your heart? Comment it below. And if you want to have a community para mas marami makatulong sa'yo, message me. Comment below as well. So, what's important is you guard your heart kung alam mong hindi pa time, hindi ka pa ready. And when the time comes, you feel like, oi, this is it. And may wisdom coming from community and your mentors. So then, it's now time to lead your heart. Lead your heart to love 
and be loved. Kasi hindi naman forever na guard in your heart unless wala kang plano mag-asawa or to be in a relationship. But while alam mong hindi pa, di ba, guard your heart. Letter L, live knowing you are loved. Live knowing you are loved. Whatever status you are in, single, in a relationship, dating, it's complicated. Walang label, undefined. Walang sinasabi si Guy, pero nag-holding hands kami or nag-text kami, whatever that is, may nagmamahal sa'yo. Live knowing that you are loved. Because if we live our life na feeling natin walang nagmamahal sa atin, we will go to the wrong places, to the wrong people para makaramdam ng pagmamahal. And what happens is it will just end up us being more broken and being devastated. So, kung feeling mo walang nagmamahal sa'yo, mahal ka ng family mo, mahal ka ng friends mo. Kung feeling mo hindi pa rin, I love you. <laughs> Di ba? Or kung hindi ka naniniwala sa akin, God loves you. God loves us. Minahal nga niya tayo even in our worst. Eh. He loves us even in the most, most worst state. Mahal niya tayo. So, what we need to do is know that we are loved. Kasi kung alam natin na mahal tayo, wala tayong kailangan patunayan. So wala kang kailangan patunayan live knowing that you are loved. Letter E, enjoy your season. Enjoy your season. Especially if you are desiring to be in a relationship or marriage, hindi ka forever magiging single. So enjoyin mo na yan, maximize mo na yan, gawin mo na yung mga bagay habang single ka pa. So, kasi there will be limitations pag kami partner ka na. Hindi ka pwede magplan na ikaw lang yung iniisip mo. You can execute as fast because may kailangan i-consider kang iba. So, enjoy the season and maximize it. So, just a recap for the acrostic single. What are the things you can do while you are still single? Letter S. So, what if you are single? I improve yourself and notice that there's healing. G. Guard your heart. L. Live knowing you are loved. E. Enjoy your season. Enjoy while you can. So if there are people, whether directly or indirectly, they're pressuring, forcing, and implying that you need to be in a relationship, and alam mo wala pa, then just say to them, I know you mean well, thank you so much, but I'm good. <laughs> so what if I'm single? And if that person is you, self-imposed pressure, look yourself in the mirror and say, so what if I'm single? So thank you guys for joining in this video till the end, ano yung nag-resonate sa inyo? Comment down below. Anong letter sa acrostic ng single ang pinaka nag-struck sa iyo? Please share this video din. Sharing is caring. Especially sa mga single people. My name is Neil Germo. If you found value in this video, like this video and subscribe in this YouTube channel so that you can be updated with new videos. God bless you guys. Thank you so much.